Hi, today I'd like to show you how to handle servers in Arc. When trying Arc, the easiest thing to do is start with the built-in server. When you're creating a workspace, choose built-in server option and set your email. The email is your user ID, and when you connect, you'll be asked for a password. Whatever password you input will now be your user password. In this example, we're using the Lyra Starter Game Project from Epic, which is about 5 gigabytes. As you can see, Arc can handle this kind of project very easily, and in just a few seconds, it is ready to commit. One of the main goals for Arc is simplicity, and this extends to how we handle servers. When you have a built-in server, it is a full-fledged server. You can even have other users connect to it. The only difference is that the client handles the launching of the server for you. You can still manually stop and start the server via the menu bar. When you look inside your workspace folder, you'll see that there were two folders created, a .arc and a .arc underscore server. The .arc is where the client stores all the information for this workspace. The .arc underscore server is the full server. Let's say that you tried arc and now you want to start using it with a team, so you'd like to migrate this server somewhere else. To turn this built-in server into a standalone server, the only thing you need to do is to move the server folder somewhere else and rename it if you like. To start your standalone server, you simply run arc server from within your server folder. If you have a standalone server, the opposite is also valid. To start using it as a built-in, you simply move the folder inside the workspace and make sure it's called .arc underscore server. Now when you launch your client, you'll connect to that standalone server. If you decide to move the server to a different machine, the only thing you need to do is set up a connection with a different IP. To find out more or to try out Arc, please go to arc-vcs.com. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.